One question that I get all the time, and I think is actually very smart to ask ourselves is, does it make sense to learn Python and coding more in general when we have ChatGPT and similar tools doing it for us and also thousands way better? And the way that I think about it is that picture having a genius in the room, a real guru in their field. To unlock their full potential for your benefit, you must not only engage in a conversation, but also know the precise questions to ask. Because it's not just about chatting, it's about curating a dialogue, so targeting and talking Thoughtful, that you can extract maximum value and insights from this extraordinary individual. And you might ask yourself, so what? Well, in this video, my goal is to show you what I believe is the best way to use artificial intelligence and tools like ChatGPT in the smartest way possible so that you stop wasting time learning something that AI can do better than you and at the same time know exactly how to have a conversation with these large language models to perform your tasks in the best way possible. And so going back to the initial question, does it make sense to learn Python now? If you're a data analyst, a data engineer or a data scientist or aspiring to become one, you'd know that Python still remains the number one programming language in terms of popularity and features. Now you also probably know that ChatGPT is super good at coding in Python and actually I made a video that I will link up here where I show the best GPT plugins for data analytics which is actually based on Python language so you can definitely use that to help you with your data tasks. The challenge here is straightforward. Without a grasp of Python fundamentals it's tough to evaluate the accuracy of ChatGPT response when you pose Python related questions. We have all encountered instances where the answers that we receive aren't quite what we were aiming for. And going back to our example, think of ChatGPT as that genius in the room. To extract its full value, you must know the basics, much like you must know the right questions to ask the genius. And so opting for the right course that focuses on Python foundational concepts allows you to better understand and validate ChatGPT answers to your Python questions. And so this foundational knowledge helps you to engage in more meaningful interactions interactions with uh, ChatGPT without getting lost in the sea of its practical applications. And so one great course that I'm doing myself now and I would definitely recommend is the IBM Python Basics for Data Science that you can find on edX. This is a three week course designed for you to spend around four to 10 hours per week. And this course is self-paced and so you can progress at your own speed. The course is completely free. And if you are someone who loves certificates, there is an optional upgrade available. So you can proudly display your Python Python badge on LinkedIn or wherever you like. The instructor Joseph is a PhD and data scientist at IBM and almost 700k people took this course so this is your assurance that you will definitely get great value from it. So let me quickly show you what you will learn. So module one Python basics. So the first module focuses on understanding various data types in Python and so think of this as the foundational alphabet you need to construct meaningful sentences and so for example if you plan to utilize ChatGPT for analyzing customer reviews a first firm grasps of data types will help you to input the correct data. And you will also learn about expressions and variables to use Python for automatic calculations, facilitating tasks like quarterly profit analysis. And you will also learn strings operation. So strings are a sequence of text data that can be manipulated and analyzed. And so you will acquire skills for text manipulation, ranging from email formatting to data analysis. The second module is Python data structures. So you will learn about lists and uh, tuples. Uh, these are data structures that act like containers for storing multiple items. You will also learn dictionaries and sets. Uh, these are advanced data structures optimized for data retrieval, and they are excellent tools for handling large data set with multiple attributes in an efficient way. Then the module three is Python programming fundamentals. So you will learn about conditions and branching. And so this section allows you to use Python to make decisions based on a certain conditions. For instance, depending on whether your sales are up or down, Python could automatically take different actions. You will also learn loops that automate repetitive tasks. And so this functionality can be really valuable, for instance, when sending personalized emails to a list of clients and also functions and exceptions handling. So, you know, functions are reusable pieces of code designed to perform specific tasks and exception handling acts as a safeguard against errors allowing for more robust code. And module four, working with data in Python, 
reading and writing files. So here you will learn how to automate file management, making Python act as a virtual assistant in handling documents. And so you will see Pandas and NumPy. Uh, this library is very popular in the data analytics space, offering capabilities beyond traditional tools like Excel. Then module five is APIs and data collections. So APIs or application programming interfaces enable Python to interact with uh, external data and services, such as fetching real-time information from the internet. And web scraping and files formats. Uh, here you will learn techniques to extract data from the web and handle diverse file formats, including CSV, XML, JSON, and much more. There is a little final exam upon completion. So this is just to validate your understanding and learning in the course with a real-world Python project. And then something that I really like is the Python cheat sheet, a quick reference guide that will be provided to assist you in recalling essential Python commands and techniques. And so if you want to take this course, make sure to use the promo code LawrenceWattEdX15 to get 15% discount. And you can use the code at checkout from edX.org. As mentioned, the course is free, but the discount will work in case you want to get an official certifications that you can share on LinkedIn or with recruiters. And this is highly recommended as it will make you stand out among other candidates. And this is actually the method that I use myself to land my first data analytics role. Let me also mention that I'm choosing specifically edX as the platform to get good artificial intelligence because they have tons of other amazing courses in this space. And so if I browse other courses to learn artificial intelligence from edX, you can see a few others that I think are quite interesting. So we talk about the prompt engineering one. Then we have the generative AI for uh, business leaders, AI chatbots without programming, again from IBM, and also the ethics in AI and data science, which again is a topic that not many people uh, talk about, but super important in today's world of AI. And again, you can use the same code LORESOWOT edX15 to get 15% discount on all of these courses. And well, this is a wrap for today's video. I hope you found this information valuable, especially in our fast-paced world where advancements in artificial intelligence are happening almost daily. Staying updated is more crucial than ever. So I'm glad you stay here till the end to gain some insights on how to navigate this rapidly evolving landscape. I will leave here in the screen some other videos that a YouTube algorithm thinks may be relevant to you. I will enjoy the rest of your day. Ciao for now and see you in the next one.